So what's up guys, day two and uh, we've just gone for breakfast uh, at some place called Good Brot, which is good bread. Had a Norwegian breakfast there which was lovely. Uh, I am so full and just around the corner from it is the Viking Garden, the Natural History Museum and the Botanical Garden. So we're going to have a little look around there which is where we are now. Now um, Oslo has a lot of green spaces. In fact it's uh, I think in 2006 14, it was voted the second most eco-friendly country in the world, Norway that is, uh, just behind Sweden and just ahead of Costa Rica. It currently is, I think, the world's most eco-friendly eco country. In fact, there's so many things that they do in order to sort of drive down carbon emissions, like the scooter thing, it tells you on the app how many like units of carbon that you've saved um, from going into the planet. As well as that, they've got this really cool food app that I learned about last night called Too Good To Go. And basically restaurants have this app and they tell you what they've got left over and you can go pick it up for cheap, which is pretty cool. So we're here, I think this is like the Viking Garden Park. We have a little look around and just enjoy ourselves today. So, uh, just got the train up to Holland Cullen. Holland, Holland, Holland Cullen. Um, and up here you've got Holland Cullen Becken, which is the ski jump tower, which you might be able to see behind me up here. Um, so, this was designed by Julian de Schmidt in uh, 1892. And it has been used for a lot of the uh, sort of ski jump competitions, the Nordic Ski Cup and everything like that. But it's also used in the 1952 Winter Olympics. And you might notice I'm out of breath. That's because it's at the top of this massive hill, which I'll show you when I get to the top. You see how high it is. And uh, we've got the train part way and then you walk the rest. But you can see all of Oslo on the train on the way up. So we're going to climb up there and have a look. Apparently there's also a zip wire. I'm hoping I can go up there and use that because that'd be incredible. But yeah, this is a, it's a massive ski jump on the hill. The hill is like... HS 134, the actual construction height is like 120, the ski jump itself is 60 meters and it can hold a 70,000 person capacity. So let's have a little look. So the ski jump museum and the uh, tower uh, jump was quite an interesting experience. It was only about £12 in English money, um, which isn't that much really, considering like, the view that you get from the top and genuinely up there. Just stood there and had a look around at uh, everything that's all around us and it's just beautiful. You can see all of Oslo, you can see all the, like, the rolling hills in the distance, all the trees, and you see the amount of woods, which is something that um, Norway's well known for is the amount of trees and woodland area pretty much everywhere. And what I didn't realise is how much of an actual development there was in skiing. Like, you know, there was people that basically all the ski routes and everything like that was all pioneered by um, different people who were like avid skiers and uh, developed like bindings and skis and all that sort of stuff. And 
you know, all the sort of things we take for granted when we go on like skiing holidays is actually like designed and developed by someone, which is not something you uh, usually think about. Um, the zip line is only open at weekends pretty much most of the year, so anyone that's planning on going and wanting to do the zip line, uh, it's about 600 krona as well, which is quite a substantial bit of money. But yeah, like, it's a pretty good experience actually. And uh, the sights that you get to see is pretty awesome. Plus there's a ski simulator there that you could try out. And it feels what it's like to actually go down the mountain at like 130 kilometers an hour. So now that we've done that, we've had a little look up here. It's about lunchtime. I'm gonna get something to eat. And we're gonna head on over and hopefully go find the naked statue sort of park, wherever that may be. Uh, yeah, onto that one. Guys, so we're just at the uh, airport now, ready to go to Reykjavik. Well, apparently it's gonna be raining the entire time. I'm not so happy about that, but we'll see when we get there. It's been a pretty good time in Norway, actually. I've really enjoyed myself. It's been great. I've got to say, riding around the city on a scooter, all of the architecture, the food, and um, there's lots of great bits going on down there, and it's just beautiful to see. Especially when I went up to the ski jump, had a little look around. You can see all over Oslo, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful, it's so surreal. Might add, Norwegian airports are, are so efficient. Like in the UK, you'd have to get there three hours beforehand. However, this time, literally rocked up. 30 seconds to check in, two minutes to get through security. Brilliant. So I'm here three hours early, and I probably could have stayed in bed a little bit longer, but oh well. But yeah, so just gonna chill out, maybe practice some uh, slight hands and magic and stuff like that, and um, go over some footage I filmed, and we will see you all again in Reykjavik. Wait. <laughs> 